Hi guys, welcome to Creations by Karen. It's day four of the 20 day Christmas craft challenge. And today I'm gonna to show you to do something with one of these. And these are really cool. I got them at the my local Dollar Tree. Um, and I thought, you know, that, I don't, I know, I bought a few of them and I thought, what am I gonna do with these? So I'm gonna show you what I've got in mind. Here's hoping it works. <laughs> okay, so it's just one of these clear ornaments and it screws off the bottom, just like that, which is kind of cool. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply some ribbon to the bottom of this. Um, and I found this in my stash, and it says celebrate it, so I'm sure I got it at Michael's probably last year. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of hot glue, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of this ornament, where it screws on and off. Because I thought, you know, I want it to look cool. So I just place it. And this fits perfectly. This is one three eighth inch ribbon. And it looks like I got it on clearance for a dollar. That's pretty good. Okay, and these, of course, were a dollar fifty. This is Canada. Everything is more expensive. So you just place your ribbon on it. And you come around and I like to put a little bit of hot glue, Gorilla Glue, all along the bottom of it. Make sure this is nice and secure and in place. All right. Almost there. Take your time when you're doing this. Just put a little bit of hot glue on here. Now we're almost to the other the end so I just see where I'm at and then I cut this off I just take some scissors and I'll cut it at this dot and then I take a bit of hot glue on the end of this just put a little bit on the end and secure it down. Okay, that was a bit warm. These finger protectors, if you have them, they're here somewhere. I don't know where they are, but I have some. Do I use them? No. Okay, so I've got my ribbon all around the bottom of it. See? So then I see where I've got my, I can't even see it. There we are. That's where I've joined them. So I'm going to make sure that this is opposite because I'm going to put a bow right on here. So I just take my ribbon <clears throat> and I'm going to make a simple bow. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. So I'm just going to make a, a quick little bow. Whoops. I'm not the best bow maker, but we're trying here. While I'm doing this, if, you, if you're new to my page, can you like and subscribe? Hit that notification button because this is 20 days of crafts and we're going to have happen here. So here's my bow. And I just make it a little bit smaller. That looks good. A little bit smaller on this end. Good. And I'm just going to trim the ends off. I like to angle them that and see this wants to go this way I want it to be up front so we'll make it work you can make anything work right so there's my little bow I've got cute and I'm just going to place this in the center okay so I've got to find my there's that so it's going to be directly across. So we'll put the bow right here and I'm going to place it right here. Okay. Just put it on like that. Make sure that you've got it all nice and center and it's not going to go anywhere. Key. That's key. Okay. So there's where we're at so far. Cute, eh? But you know what? I 
did went on my Cricut and I made these. I got a whole pile of them here. And I know this is going to be backwards for you guys. I'm sorry. It says Christmas kisses. I'll post a picture of it when I'm done. And I want to put that right in front here. Christmas kisses. So I bought my transfer tape that I got at my local Dollarama. Just cut a piece off. Right there. And then I'm just going to place this on top of the Christmas sign. Like that. So I try to line it up as much as I can. And then just take my little scraper I got at my dollar store. Just rub it. And I do both sides. You don't have to do this, but I think it works. And that way I can just peel that off and it all comes off in one. So this is a Christmas one. So I'm just going to place my ornament down. And I'm trying to get it in the center. Dismiss. That looks pretty good. And I just take my finger and I rub on it to make sure it adheres to the plastic. Because these are plastic. Take your time when you're doing this, guys, because the last thing you want to do is cut this out on your Cricut using the vinyl. And you mess it up. And the vinyl's not cheap, I tell you. Okay, so this, of course, is backwards for you guys. That says Christmas. And then I've got kisses on here. So I'm going to put this more to the top of my transfer tape. And you know what? I got this transfer tape at my local Dollar Tree. And I really like it. Because it isn't hard to get off. So I just take one of these. And I got this at my local Dollar Tree, too. Just give it a little... Right there and just peel that off just like that kisses and then I'm going to place it underneath sort of in the center under my Christmas sign just take it just rub it and I find rubbing works really well just like that And just peel it off and just go slow because the last thing you want to do is go fast and have it come apart just make sure that looks good great so far so good I'm gonna use that again I'll just put it down there now what do you think I'm gonna put in here leave a comment I'm gonna put kisses in here Hershey Kisses. How many are we going to put in? No idea. Let's count them. So two, four, six, eight, ten. <clears throat> Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15, 17, 18, 20, <coughs> 2, 4, 6, 8, 30. That should work. And I just replaced my lid. And there you have it. Cute as that. That's day four. Yay. Okay, if you like this, make sure you subscribe and wait for day five. That's coming tomorrow. Love you all. Bye now.